What's going on YouTube? Went and got gas, filled up the mower, put some gas in the truck, two cycle. Uh, I run 87 in my mower in my truck, but I run 89 in the trimmers. I don't know why they recommend that, but I don't really notice any difference. It's neither better or worse with either or. Do you remember when it was only 10 cent difference between the three grades of gas though? 12 on the day. Uh, got the 61 back here with a 21, well it's technically a 22 inch push mower now. My old uh, Cub Cadet I had, uh, which actually, my Cub Cadet uh, SC500Z review video that I did, like last year or something that has the most views out of all my videos it's got like seven or eight thousand views apparently people really are looking at their push mowers you know but um it mo that mower i mean the motor never gave out on me the drive system never gave out on me but um the the frame of that 21 inch lawnmower actually broke um that's probably my fault not cleaning it out but once every other week or something like that and uh it just it didn't see a lot of use so i didn't really do a lot of maintenance to it which for the amount of maintenance i did to it it lasted a long time i think i had it three or four years and uh you know it's been in commercial use for the past two years of that so it did pretty good uh i bought a uh a snapper uh, 22 inch all wheel drive self propelled uh, lawnmower to get in gates and stuff I've uh I think I've came up with a plan for what direction I'm going to go with the lawnmowers probably won't get enacted until next year it's uh middle of August now so ain't no point buying another new lawnmower uh yep Try to get some footage today of some mowing and trimming and stuff and uh, a little bit of commentary about how the day goes. Now this just aggravates the piss out of me. Um, I've worked hard with this customer over the past year. Eh, I've had him a little bit longer than a year to try to get his yard in better shape. And um, I'll include some pictures right now of like a before and after from like one year ago and then like a month or so ago. And the neighbor has a lawn service. And I mow this yard a little bit longer, okay? It's fescue mostly, a little bit of Bermuda. And I try to leave it longer so it stays good through the summer. And this is what I just pulled up to. I mean, he scalped the crap out of this hill. And if you look all the way back there, you can see maybe there's a white line on the left-hand side of that fence post. That's the property marker. I mean, he did a whole two full passes on this side. And I guarantee it's because his homeowner's complaining about the height to cut. Because, you know, his yard's all scalped down and short. And, you know, no, any difference, I can tell a major difference between this and this just really pisses me off
switch out my um, the right for the John Deere. Got a few yards that um, I can't use. I, like I can't put the 48, the 61, and the 21 on here. I can only do like the 48 and the 61, or the 61 and the 21. It just it they won't all three fit on there. So uh, I had to run home and switch out because I've got all these yards I'm about to go do. I've got like three or four really small yards. And they're like too small to really put the 61 on. One of them's got a gate that's like 48 inches. There are actually two of them have a gate that's like 48, 49 inches. So I can just get that mower in there. But, uh, yep, I'll record the next one.
homeowners just blowing their grass out in the yard. They're out in the street. My wife was actually uh, reading an article to me or, or said she read an article or something like that. They said that I think they said in the county they're going to in my county they're going to start making it illegal for people to blow grass clippings into the street and i'm just going thank god i mean look right there <laughs> right there <laughs> i mean it just it looks so horrible i don't understand it and uh that's probably going to be the last bit of videotaping i do today i didn't do a whole lot of videotaping today i got uh one two three three more to go it's 5:47 be able to get them done well where I did that landscaping job the other day uh, the neighbor across the street got my number from the homeowner and she called me and wanted me to do some kind of landscaping for her something about replacing a tree or something like that I'm gonna take a look at that while I'm over there mowing that's where I'm headed right now and um, yeah Hope y'all have a good weekend. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. I may get out and try to do a couple things. I got uh, a few small landscape jobs to do. And uh, if I can, I am. But if I can't, I ain't. Uh, appreciate you watching my video. And, uh, oh, yeah, before I get off here. Has anybody discovered a way how to get all the grass next to fence posts? I mean... The, the wooden fences, like it's always back in that little corner. And I, I cannot get it without beating the crap out of a fence. And I don't get paid to beat stuff up. I get paid to cut the grass. So I don't I don't really go that route. But yeah, I just thought I'd ask if uh, anybody knows how to get all the grass in the corner next to wooden fence posts. But uh, hope you all have a good weekend. And I uh, appreciate you watching my video.